Welcome to another Red Raider contest. You got Gary McNeil here. We got a girls contest coming up, the Varsity Girls Lakewood and London. And uh, before we get into that though, I got a big surprise for you folks. I got Coach Wilson, our new elected football coach uh, for London High School. Coach, I want to welcome you aboard. You've been hiding from me for years and years. <laughs> you can't hide now, buddy. So uh, what do you think? Uh, were you surprised to get the job? You know, Gary, I, I knew I had to be the head zone uh, uh, or the front runner coming into this go round, and uh, I was just glad to see it happen quickly, uh, so the kids can can get on about their business and training, getting us ready to uh, to play some football. I'm just excited about an opportunity like this to uh, coach in, in London, and uh, I'm excited about the group of kids we got. I think we've got some gifted athletes, and uh, you know, we got some work to do, but uh, I think things will work out well for us. To be honest with you. Well, I know you've been involved in some teams that went to the state two or three times and you've been he was under coach Dobma who in my mind is a very good coach and uh, you also played uh, a championship team or undefeated team with coach Connolly who is over at uh, high state now have you talked to him or any of those guys since then since you got picked up I, I had a chance to talk with Bill yesterday briefly and uh, you know he wished me well and uh, and uh, you know, of course, he's he's gonna want to know if I got some good kids for him. So, so uh, we'll stay in contact. That's for certain. Uh, I'm just kind of excited about being here, and I haven't seen Coach Dobmeyer yet, but I'm sure I'll hear something from him soon. And and uh, I'm sure he's in my corner. Got to see uh, Norm at the clinic. You know, you go to the clinic, and all your old buddies are there. And you know, just kind of still flying pretty high. I haven't haven't quite got my feet back on the ground yet, right but. On, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pumped up about the situation, and uh, we got to get our winter work going and, and take care of the, the winter business first, and then uh, go about uh, go about seeing how successful we can be. I got a couple more questions. Number one, um, when you uh, put your, your bid in for the job the last time, you mentioned Smash Mouth football. You want to run up by us, by the people out there who might not know what that means, well, you what you're talking about? I'm just talking about hitting and being aggressive and running to the football, and and, and I think uh, in order to be a successful football team, you, you have to have a smash mouth element, which is just being aggressive and, and you know taking the game to them and being aggressive in in your uh, your physical play, and I, and I think that is is a key to to uh, to successful football. To be honest with you, uh, if I make a great call and we're very physical, you know we'll win by a lot of points. If I make a very bad call and we're very physical, we'll still win. If we're not physical, it doesn't matter what call I make. It, it, it's up to the kids to take care of their business when they get on the field, and that business would be uh, hitting them harder than they hit you. Okay, and I know you've, uh, I think last year you were the defensive coordinator. Yes, yes. Um, what are you going to do this year as far as offense coordinator? You taking that over uh, Joe Johnson's going to be our offensive coordinator as I look at it right now. and, and uh, before I actually make those calls, I guess I should sit down with everyone yeah. involved and talk about it. But but Joe's been doing our offense from the from the shadows around here for quite a long while, and I he's going to coach our quarterbacks. That's for certain. Uh, I'm going to dabble in all areas. You know, we get, we're going to get a defensive guy in here that can can take care of the really specific details of of, uh, of the defense. But I'm going to be involved in the offense and, and the defense, and and uh, I'll give them an idea of what I want, and they'll give me a menu, and I'll choose from the menu. Okay, are you going to stay track coach? Uh, yeah, I am. I, okay. I think it's a nice marriage between uh, uh, football and track. And uh, I don't know if you're aware, but uh, a lot of the football kids are, right. are always involved in track and field. The, the, the guys that score the touchdowns are the runners and the jumpers. And the guys, that, the big guys up front, those are the shot put and discus guys. And it's not unusual for us to have uh, uh, two sport athletes in football and track. And, and uh, I, I think that'll be something that'll play into our hands very well, to be honest with you. And that sounds good to me. I uh, had an opportunity to do a little story about Coach Johnson. When Coach Johnson had uh, a team at Jaron play on Zach and Jaron, those guys, and they were up a big walnut. And so I had just gotten out of the hospital. I'm just barely moving around, walking. I grew up and I said, uh, Coach Johnson, can you box? And he said, no, why? I said, well, if you can't, you better learn. I said, well, if you don't let Jaron carry that ball tonight, we're going to box. I'm doing good even walk to the bleachers. <laughs> and so he asked Ralph Scurry, who was his assistant, he says, is he serious? And I said, yeah, man, he can throw down. They kicked off the London, and his first play of the, from the scrimmage from the 30-yard line, 
he gave Jaron the ball, and Jaron went 77 yards for a touchdown. There you go. There he looked over me. I said, you don't have to box now, bud. <laughs> Well, you know, Joe's been doing that, calling those offenses at the JV and in the freshman level for probably four, five, six years now. That's why I'm confident he's going to be able to take care of the business we got to get taken care of up in the booth. And uh, I, I like Go, he, Joe. He's a go-getter, and, and you know, he's not afraid to stretch the field and throw that thing downfield. And that's kind of what we want to do. We want to want to run hard off tackle, and we want to be a, a physical football team, and we want to want to run the power, but we also want to be able to, you know, throw that thing over the top and hit a home run every once in a while. Also, give me one more insight on what your meeting was about yesterday. I understand you were with Coach Trestle. What did, did he go in X and O's or, or Y's and X's or whatever? I was at a clinic yesterday and, and uh, Coach Trestle was the opening speaker. He spoke for about an hour, 15, 20 minutes. Second time I've had an opportunity uh, to listen to him. Now, you know, there's 1,500 coaches in this room and he's speaking to all of us. But uh, the two times I've had a chance to hear Coach Trestle speak, it's, uh, it's not really been about X's and O's. It's been about how to build team, how to be a leader, what kind of things are expected from a coach, uh, how to make sure that your kids are playing at their highest level. He's more or less coaching the coaches, and, and he's talking to us as coaches. He's not giving us that technical X's and O's stuff. Uh, and, I, and I, you know, I tell you what, I, I pick up some things every time you hear the man and, and you just want to go ahead and embrace what he says. And then, and, and, you know, you're going to use your style to try and implement those kind of things. Mike, it's been good talking with you. I know we're going to hook up again. And like I said last, yesterday on the air, uh, we're going to tell about the good things you do, but we're also going to talk about the bad things you do, too. Well, so if you make a bad call, don't come <laughs> jumping on me saying I made the wrong – well, it's the terminology. Use, use, all of a sudden, my case about terminology. <laughs> Uh, Mark, they said, well, now we got a chance to get him back. <laughs> so, Mike, I'm proud of you. I'm glad for you. Hang in there, brother. We're all behind you. Thanks a lot, Gary. Luck, Appreciate too. you having me on. Okay, bro. Take care. Thank you, Carl. My light's out over here, so I'd keep an eye on over there. I might build a little mirror. I seen somebody had a mirror built on there one time where you, you, you could see it. At about 50 bucks or more. A little signal? Yeah. Oh, this in here, I think they run a little over Once 100. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to London High School for this afternoon's Buckeye Athletic Conference basketball game featuring the Lancers from Lakewood High School and the Red Raiders of London High School. Now to honor this great country of ours, which will all please rise for the playing of our national anthem. Let's get ready to get it on. Why don't you try something, Lou? Now the starting lineups for this afternoon's game. First of all, for Lakewood. At the post, the six foot one senior, number 10, Kenny Ettenhopper. Can you hear me? At the five foot six inch freshman, number 22, Anna Kincaid. Anna Kincaid. At guard, the six foot senior, number 25, Carrie Davis. Carrie Davis is starting. At the end of the post, the senior, number 42, Huh? Six five, what they say? I'll find out here in a minute. The Lancers are close by this one, right? Over. The six foot 
Tallest girl, 6'1. Shelly Howard. Sounded like he said 6'5, didn't it? And Chelsea Beathard. And forward, five foot nine senior number fifty, Andrea Clifton. Andrea Clifton, can you hear me, okay, Luke? And center, five foot eleven senior number fifty-two, Jessica Brady. Jessica Brady, she's starting tonight. And forward, five foot seven senior number fourteen, Ashley Brader. And Ashley Brader, five, five seniors. Huh? Starting five seniors. Yeah, they sure are. Senior day. They tricked us and they had a senior thing for the parents, giving flowers. And we was in the middle of changing tapes to try to get it together. And it takes a little time to do that. So, congratulations, senior, although we weren't able to get that part. We've been behind you for all these years, so forgive us. Lancers control the tip. Uh, Lancers are coming in here with a 5 and 14 record, and London's uh, showing an 8 and 11. So, uh, could be a good contest. I understand they've had at least four coaches uh, this, uh, this year. That Barton is, was real good the last couple of years, I know, and so was Eppendorf for number 10. Okay. Uh, I'm very surprised that they didn't have a better season. They only win five games, but I also I noticed that Barton was out the last game when they got beat, so that's number 42, one of their tall girls. Okay. Well, from what they told me, cameramen said that they had uh, the first come, coach come in and for the first six games, they didn't realize it. He didn't know anything at all about basketball. Yeah. And finally somebody run a bunch of their to do nothing but playing street ball after they lost six games. So then yeah, what happened to the second coach? I guess uh, had a situation there where he didn't like it. Uh, he wasn't a teacher, and a teacher wanted it, which is not the state rule. They want you to offer it to teachers first. But uh, it's not fair to the kids to get a teacher just because they want that supplemental pay and don't know what they're doing. So we've had two times up and down the floor and there's no score. And the big air ball, she looked like she was a little de dejected that she didn't hit the rim. You get a chance to see any of the game this morning? The boys game last night? I saw the, the last second shot. Did you? For the quarter or something. Oh, yeah. Didn't count. I'll say it again on the boys' game, but uh, Rone surpassed um, 500 assists and 1,000 points in his career, career as, as of the West Jeff game. So congratulations, Jared. According to his dad, he's never been on a losing team, so and he's not on one this year. Yeah, they're, they're going to have a winning season. Yeah. It's a guarantee, you know. Hadn't been much to say about this game so far. And Crane is going to pick up the first foul. The lake was doing a little bit like uh, Miami no, Trace did last night. They're, they're moving the ball real well and doing everything, but right now the few shots that they've had, they don't look like they're able to get the ball in the basket enough. But that's what it takes to win. Couldn't have said it better myself. Pretty hard to win without making baskets. <laughs> yeah, you got to put the ball in the bow hoop. That's for sure. Lakewood draws first blood on two free throws. I need another pen. Back out the 
to Bether. Going to set it up here. Pass it to um, Craner down the lane. She gets her own oh, rebound. Knocks it in. Well, we'll try to think about Ashley. She's been consistent. Right, she has. Very few games under 10. She had a big game. Who had the big game yesterday? Was that her? The last game? Yeah. 23, I 23, think. 23, yeah. Well, looks like she's going to do a little pine time. Wow, two That's already. two fouls, and we're only still got five minutes to go in the first quarter. The number 22, this is a team that... Um, Abby Dobmar would have played on had they still been here as a senior. She got hurt up there and uh, some ankle problems, I think it is. They're jumping right on that right away. Makes it four to two. Hitting hold of scored that one for them. We got a big score on the bench. Clifton's going to take over. She gets one from the foul line, can't get the bounce. I don't know if you can see her on the camera or not, but uh, she was squatting every time the ball bounced like she's <laughs> trying to pull it down in. Will, the basket. Will, will it in. Mm -hmm. Wow, nice pass. You would have liked London Boar's high-low game last night. I had it on, but I didn't get a chance to see it. Hoffer, once again, runs it up to six to not to two. And uh, Brandon Edley, did you get to see the dunk? No. Oh, man. Goal by Lamerson. She's going to have to take over here. She's our our next hope. So Lamerson goes line, she'll shoot one chance to make it a three point play. And she does that. If that microphone is bothering you, you just put it down under your chin. I just wasn't sure if it was, it was too close, if it was wrong. London scores six to five now. London's down by one. And we have three and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. I'm glad you got a chance to make it out between patients. Yeah, I, I got to leave it enough to back. Beather with the steal, and she goes the length and makes a good pass. And Howard is knocked to her knees. There's that one of those things I will keep saying every game. Why can't that big girl just block the ball without hitting her? <laughs> she, she spun her around, didn't she? Howard's a feisty little player, though. She uh, she gets up and down the floor, tries to make things happen, just like two years, so experience. She makes up for a lack of experience with hustle. She call, She does that every time she shoots. Remember she did that the other day when we... She knows how to use that board. I watch her not use it because we said something. It was gone that way. So she's one for two and ties the game up, six to six. There's one three one on us there. He's in a two three zone. I got some plays of where that two three zone out with the one three one. Julia Barton, that's the girl you was talking about. Yep. Forty two and ten is going to do most of their scoring. Lamerson down the middle, 
and a bank. Dribble penetration and pays off with a bank shot. Right over the front of the rim. She also, if she kind of shot it from behind her, so because she knew she might get it blocked. Yeah. So that's that big example of doing what the defense lets you do. I'm sure they hear you telling them that because a lot of them you can uh, see it eventually. It'll, it'll well, we got a repetition. Got to get the look. ball up there and give it a chance. Let us pick up the defense. Tie ball game at eight. Uh, 150 to go in the uh, first quarter. London forces a turnover. Craner's back in the game. I didn't see her go back in. I didn't either. Mathers looking for it. Oh, doesn't go. She had a good shot right there at the foul line extending. Like you said, number 10 and 42, and they got all the points. Ettenhofer's got six. Lamerson's come to play today, buddy. She's back, going to take the charge. Oh, good two-foot jump stop. Hold up, misses, and gets on rebound. Corey Hawk. I can't see that here. Yeah. Brady turn, got to get that ball, give it a chance, get it up on the board. I'm glad to see Craner decide to go after that ball. You can bet that she has a, she has a warning, don't get number three. <laughs> you want to play the second, the rest of this half, don't get number three. Mm -hmm. And I'd be going right at her if I was the other team. Turnover. And let them force it. Like Put it down by Klein, two. Coach Klein's going to triple team that, double team and triple team that number 42. And Lambert should come down and spot it up and uh, bounce off the front of the rim. And Beathard put it back up and it wouldn't go. And now we've got the ball out of bounds to us. We're down by four now, 12 to eight. Uh, breakaway. Good hustle. Oh, didn't get it. No. I don't know. No basket. He waved it off. No basket for sure. He waved it off, but the it referee, was close. The referee right down next to it, he wasn't sure. I know. So he didn't say anything, and the other one finally had to, he, he realized he had to come in and make the call because they get a sense, too, that the other guy didn't know it. So the score remains 12-8. to Thamerson's leading London with five. Craner, <clears throat> Craner with two and Howard with one. Gonna be a long day for me. In the game, number 42, Rachel Jordan, and number 44, Shannon Mason. Shannon Mason and Rachel Jordan onto the game. Jordan is about a six foot sophomore. Mason, I believe, is a junior. Pops for three and don't get it, and uh, rebound is picked up by Lamerson. Craner was looking for Jordan inside there. They cut that lane off real quick. Craner 
They're not going to give Craner much slack. She probably put it on him up there. Beather didn't touch a thing that time. 12 to 8. Brainer's still playing aggressive. As so long as she's careful. And it's hard for an aggressive player to go in and not be aggressive. They feel like they're not doing anything. Rebound, Jordan, after a chance for a putback. Jordan comes off with the ball, and London's coming at him. Laverson, back to Craner. Beathered inside to Mason. Mason spots won't go. Rebound Jordan, no go. And we got a jump ball. Okay, Howard's gonna come in and replace uh, Beather. So we have Beather and Jordan, Lamerson, Craner, and Mason on the floor for London right now. Scores 12 to eight in favor of the Lancers. Unforced error that time, Lou. It's just a little bit like Miami Trace last. They pass it around good, but then they make a mistake. They don't pass it around enough times. Good basket. How many passes are you in favor of when you come down and set them off and up? Two. <laughs> <laughs> Printer's off the mark tonight. She was draining the tar out of them the other day. She had about four or five trays. Getting off to a bad start. Oh, yes, a block on number 12. Moving screen. What Carl said, block in the back. Sunroof. <laughs> Cadillac. Still 12 to 8 and we're under six minutes. Craner once again, and that one goes for you. You know, she's settled more for that three-point shot lately than she was earlier in the season. She looks a lot more comfortable. I'm sure she feels it, too. It's not wearing her out as much because she's playing the Rone part, like doing a lot of driving down the lane. Mason gets that rebound. She dry down the lane either. Uh, calls herself to foul. Fouls on Abby Ettenhofer, her first key foul in the ball. Ettenhofer. That's one of our big worries. Number 10, she's got six points for him. She's only got one foul. I don't know why he took her out. Kind of a touchy call. Well, she was on her way, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> it's like a lightning bolt going across there. A little close. I, I was looking at it. I didn't really see it. Must have been an easy call because they, they, almost every player does that gets that call. Had a girl yesterday didn't get it though. Rebound, Craner and Mason that time. Actually, another one. That's a two-pointer that time. So now it's uh, London just took the lead, 13 to 12. And there's one thing that London hasn't seen this year, which would have been a good defense, was a box and one, and just eliminate Ashley getting the ball as much as she can. If she doesn't have it, she can't drive. Obviously, she can't shoot. So I'm real surprised that they haven't come up with that. No. Got a turnover there. I remember down in Washington Courthouse, London used that to an advantage against that Valerie King, and they really stopped her because the coach didn't have anything to handle it. 13 to 12. Valerie King was tough to where she at Cincinnati. She's their leading scorer. Is that right? And they're, and they're doing real well. I saw a little article in some paper. She's 
scoring like 19 a game. Oh. They won three seconds on Mason, and she's still standing there looking around and saying, who me, who me? <laughs> yeah, she knocked it out, though, and the other girl tried to save it, but it had already hit the out-of-bounds line. Hey, a little ping-pong here. Trainer and she's fouled. That's going to be a fifth foul on the Lancers. Fouls on Anna Kincaid, her first team foul number five. Anna Kincaid. Thirteen to twelve. None is still carrying a one point edge here. Uh oh, fourteen. What is it? One four. Fourteen means she takes the ball and goes and scores, huh? Good call. Good call. She's doing better at that all the time too. Uh huh. Well, look at that. Three, there's four people on her. A lot of hustle there, and we got a jump ball. London had four players on her. You know they're saving at least double team with it when they do. If they're going to double team, everybody goes for it. And then they got they had three or four people on it. <laughs> Jumping to the ball, aren't they? She couldn't get it. She couldn't do anything. Which I believe in that. We'll just keep your big score out of there. Oh, good. Good, good hands by Lethia Lamerson. She went way up to get that one. She wants it back, too. Howard is not bashful and doesn't go. I heard some other calling numbers. I jumped up and looked at the clock. Keep me close till I get back. Okay, coach. Lou's got to go pull some teeth, so. We'll run the show here. And uh, got a turnover. Hey, Carl. Time out, Lakewood. Time out, Lakewood. Well, got a good game going here so far. Had a nice interview with uh, Coach Mike Wilson. And uh, I'm looking for big things out of him. He's been around football all his life. The whole family, his football family, has got a cousin that's uh, playing for Ohio State, Andre Tyree. So uh, Mike was real good in high school. He was on the undefeated team. Had some good coaches he worked under. 11 years as an assistant, so that's what you get. Hard work pays off. And I have to say he was faithful and loyal to every one of the people that uh, he worked under. That's what it takes. London inbounds the ball, and here comes Craner. London's on top right now, 15 to 12. Lamerson takes the drive to the bucket. Can't get it. I couldn't tell. Did that come off the board or just hit land on the back of the rim? That's what I thought. I'm going to preach board until they start using it. <laughs> what do you say, Carl? Preach some more, huh? They'd be shocked once they learn how to use it. I tell you what, if you play for Dick Reynolds at Otterbein, or Rick Patino, you better shoot, use the board or you won't play. They want to the jump ball. Two points by, who's that? 25. 
Davis, yeah, she used the board. That's a good shot. Ah, London lost concentration on that play, and uh, Howard uh, forgot to catch the ball. We got a sub in. We got Beth to come back in for Howard. So we've got Howard, Clifton, Brady, Craner, and Lamerson on the floor for London right now. This team's not playing like a 5-14 and 14 team. Lamerson gets in the passing lane, gets another steal. She goes up strong, and she's fouled, and she'll go to the line shooting too. Fouls on the penalty, Jake, her second, team foul number six, on the line, shooting two, Olivia Lamberson. First one's good. She's one for one so far. In and out. So she's one for two. She's shooting like 41% from the free throw line. Lamerson was. Lana's putting a lot of pressure defense on and Lamerson's coming up with a lot of steals. Trainer for three more. That gives Trainer 13 points. 12 points. Anna Kincaid for two. Craner gets tied up and Brady gets the ball. Back out to Craner. She spots again. It won't go. And we threw the distance and we end the first quarter with a score of 19 for London and 16 for the Lancers. So I'll give you a quick rundown. Ain't going to take but a minute because we've only got uh, three people scoring for London. They've got Lamerson with six. And uh, she helped them out big time in the first quarter. Had uh, five points in the first quarter. And uh, Craner has 12, which gives her, um, she got 12 for the game. And uh, Howard has one. For the other team, Edenhofer, I got her with six. I got Hauk with uh, two. This is unofficial. Kincaid with two, and Davis with two, and Barton with two. So they uh, have spread their, and got another score here, a Wilson with two foul shots. So that gives them 16 points, and uh, they spread their scoring out pretty even there. London's got Craner. If they come out of the box and one, we got Lamerson to go to. So, but anyway, things are looking good so far. So stick around. I'm uh, going to save my voice for the next half. Hold on, Gary McNeil. Bye bye. Number 22, Hannah Kincaid. Number 25, Kerry Davis. Number 42, Julia Martin. And number 50, Randy Wilson. Starting lineup for London. Number 12, Shelly Howard. Number 14, Ashley Craner. Number 42, Chelsea Bender. Number 50, Andrew Clifton. And number 52, Jessica Brady. Jessica Brady. Clifton, Brady, Craner, Beathard, and Howard. Lethia's not starting second half.
That's the seniors. That's something they did when my daughter was playing. They had that team went undefeated two years and then get the tournament and start the seniors and lose. Brady up with two. Brady got that come right off the board. It's almost like a pass from Craner. Pressure was starting to get to him some. Uh oh, foul line shot. No good. Feathered in the right spot at the right time. Gets the rebound. 21 16 is the score right now. Howard's got him going to stretch him out. <laughs> yeah, that was that was weird, wasn't it? I've seen it, but I didn't expect it. That's one way the coach didn't let him run the score up. <laughs> Like Tommy said, hold the ball. <laughs> Don't let him get 100. Hold the ball. 21-16. Bethard has her shot blocked. Spot up, in and out, and rebound off the Clifton. Craner's on the attack. Over to Beather. They want to get her some points. Getting closer. That was with Jessica Brady, her first team foul number one. And Brady picks up her first foul. Lammers is in the game, back in the game now. She replaces uh, Beathard. 21-16. She, she's looking for somewhere to go. She's doing the old wide step there. Another turnover for the Lancers. Here's a special. Oh, I thought uh, Chelsea, no. Howard must have just come in. Clifton. Clifton for two. And Howard's out, and uh, Brothers back in. Lamerson gets a steal. She put it in her face. She's looking for a foul. The girl looks like she got about a six-inch height on her. She she made a play the other day where she's going, making that move, and she throwed up a fake and ducked under him and put it in. The last two times she's went down the floor, she went straight up with it. So we have a score now of 23 to 16. And the lead is with London. Five minutes in, uh, to go in the third quarter. London's coming out with a full court. Kind of a weak one. Foul shot. Just good. 
Davis gets two more. Brings the score up to 23 to 18. Inside to Brady. She's fouled and she'll go to the line shooting two. Dollars on the three to Barton, her second, defound number one. On the line, shooting two, Jessica Brady. News Tommy Barton is going to be the big scorer. She's got two points so far. Oh, man. Huh? Flash? I didn't, I just caught out of the corner of my eye. Oh, yeah. Two times in and out. Clifton. And she's going to go to the line. We got to make our foul shots. Clifton. She's a 69% shooter. Makes good on the first one. 24-18, Carl. Oh, yeah. 25-18. Lamerson's got... Uh, call for a wrist lock. Can't lock your hand. Oh, that's wrestling, ain't it? <laughs> Rebound. Craner. Brainer inside, turnaround shot, no good. Clifton back up, it's good. Clifton gets a put back, gives her four points. She's had some good games this year. Oh, Clifton, <laughs> and that you know that's a, that's something when you do that and don't even jump. <laughs> and block the ball from the top. She liked that. 27-18 now. That's their shooter. Number 10. That gives her eight points. Ettenhofer. Three and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. London leading my seven. Good pass. Good pass to Clifton. She, she, she does that fake real well, doesn't she? Act like she's going to shoot and pass it right over the basket. And almost knocked her player out in the head, hit her head, player in the head. 29-20. They're getting a little edgy now. Lamerson, she's on already two. Two points. None is pulling away. 11 points now, 31-20. They're moving the ball around the outside. Uh, look inside to number 50. I'll get her name here in a second. That was Wilson, missed that shot. Oh, look at this pass into Clifton, over to Brady. I know it. Uh, 
And think of it, it's been there. The three's been there all night. So Clifton comes out and uh, Jordan goes in for Clifton. And Mason's in the game also. She must win in for Brady. Jordan walks right in, gets the rebound. 31-20. That girl was headed for a steal, wasn't she? Mason squares up. It's there. I can see that. She has squared up to the basket. Had a good look, good follow through. She drained it. Look at this. Another rebound for Jordan. They really had a lopsided floor that time. Craner. Oh, she won. I think she wanted it. Huh? Yeah, she was feeling it. She had her foot on the line, though, so you only got two out of it. 35 to 20 right now with 106 to go, and London slowly inching away. Oh, she got some long legs. She can stride. I don't know if she runs track or not, but she can actually naturally get up and down the floor. She just needs a whole lot of teaching, fundamental teaching. And as soon as those girls learn that they uh, can't do it, you guys did good. <laughs> <laughs> you tried to finish the game, boy. Yeah, missed some real action. Yeah, 35-20. That uh, microphone, it, it's, everything's coming out of here. So you don't have to put it on your mouth. Only reason I had that so you can hear. Billy Markley couldn't hear me when I had, when he's up here, so. Of course, there's a lot more people in here than too. Yeah. 35-20. They must have had a good spurt. They did. It's an unusual third quarter for him. Bounce pass. Right. Jordan. <clears throat> they played that one. They worked hard enough to get that off. 22. Oh, Anna Kincaid. Anna Kincaid. Makes it 37 and 22, and we're down under 10 seconds. Brother throws one up at the buzzer, and time runs out. 37 to 22. They only got six points that quarter. We got two, four, six, eight. 18 point quarter. Mm -hmm. That's huge for uh, this team. On this third quarter, good offense and good defense. He does a good job announcing. He's got the voice for it. Well, leading scores for us is Craner and um, Clifton. Barton's only got two points, Lou. This is the worst season that Lakewood's had for four or five years because they were always good games with London. Yeah, she got a save out of him. Come back in, almost got it herself. <laughs> I don't think she could believe she wasn't called out of bounds. We 
got Howard in the game now. Howard, Mason, Clifton, Craner, and Lamberson. Howard spots up. These seniors are trying to get him some points, and this ain't working. 37-22. I'd like to see every one of them score their last game. I'm sure they missed Dobmar, because Dobmar got him fired up. Ettenhofer gets another two. Gives her ten. You missed Mason. Mason had to square up. It was pretty. From the foul line? No, from his foul here on the on the wing. I think uh, Craner won the foul on that shot. It didn't happen. She traveled before she shot the ball. Oh, Brandy Wilson. Wilson, Brandy Wilson knocks it out. So now it's back down to 11 point game. 37-26. So you went and pulled a tooth and come back, huh? <laughs> That's about as fast as I could have gone and done whatever I did and got back. <clears throat> you didn't get any of that knifing gas, did you? No. <laughs> We had a ball that day. I well, mentioned London that. has control, that's for sure. They just got to maintain their composure down the stretch and get another victory. Yeah, we're in the fourth quarter now. 37-26. Mm, she was barely in bounds. On the floor. Cranor was making her move to the basket. She was fouled out of bounds to Lemon. Brady back in for Mason. Howard gets called for a travel. Got to get them feet set. <laughs> oh, they had the right idea. They just wasn't able to get the ball to uh, Wilson to make the play. I'm really surprised because I know that that Ettendorfer and Barton have both been three-year starters. Her to make that kind of a bad pass. Trainer's drawing a lot of fouls. Fourteen fouls on uh, the Lancers now. We're still just under six minutes. Nipton goes up and she's going to go to the line shooting too. Uh, she was leaning, wasn't she? <laughs> leaning, leaning sideways. Once they learn what square means, they'll, they'll do it. I didn't catch where Clifton's going to school, but she's going to. They said she was going to be going to college somewhere. Uh, Urbana. Urbana. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Next, those two. Here's a 13 point game now, 39 26. Oh, there's one of them shot pass you talking about, Carl. They're standing wide open. Couldn't finish. Oh. She saw her and said, Oh my gosh, she's wide open. Uh huh. 
Who? Oh. That's your that's your brother? <laughs> Chelsea, get one. Clifton back All up right. too. Never leave their feet. No, she didn't. She just caught it and shot it from the damn position. Oh, she got a block in tight uh, a while ago. Never left her feet. Ed and Duck. Ed and Hopper again. She got 12 points. 41-28. Got to protect the ball. Getting a little loose with it. She's open again. Etten Hopper. They're getting smart. They're going to their bread and butter. Foul. Rochelle Lohr picks up another foul. Corey Howe. 11 point game, Lou, 41 30. London's really in the driver's seat. They're going to go, they're not going to panic. But someone is dogging Alethea like crazy. Look at this. Both of them. Look at 22. They're putting the man to man, some heavy pressure on Lamerson and, uh, and the Kramer. They should have done that at the beginning of the game. Yeah. Come up from behind, tip the ball out. I'm sure Kramer can hear footsteps. Legion said, who, me? Oh, that was a mugging. Legion thought it was on her. No harm, no foul. <laughs> no blood. Still 11 point game. Wow, three people hit it. Still got it back. Uh -huh. Oh! Oh, too bad. Had a good idea. Yes, sir. Just couldn't finish. Madison comes from behind and tips that one out of there. All the way oh, with Craner. Oh, oh, my gosh. Beautiful. That's her first two points. No. Of Rain. this quarter. Oh. She's got 14, makes her 16. Oh. Well, I didn't see oh, what happened. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what Craner did? Made, no. made sure she didn't. Close line. Oh. These girls get rough now. That was on Shannon Mason for first, team foul number five. The goal was by Elliott. Hopper was on the line, two one. And Hopper gets another two points. And give her a chance to make a three out of that. It gives her more. Edenhofer got 17 points now. 10 point game, 33 to 43, and London throws it away. Is that concentration you were talking about? I actually wanted her to do that, but she just threw it a little bit too far, a little too hard. Down to eight. 
Only 335. <laughs> uh, Whitney Thorpe. You can see that face off. Oh, yeah, no. yeah. That would have been good to get a picture of that for the yearbook. Uh huh. Uh huh. It was. She couldn't believe she got called for. Kind of makes good on the first one. We're in the bonus now with uh, 2.44 to go in the contest. Makes them both. Trainers had two good days in a row. That gives her 18 right now. Oh, good hands, Lambers. Trainers gonna go to distance. Two more. <laughs> Forty-seven, thirty-five. I was looking down the book, putting score in. I didn't. I didn't see it. <laughs> she pushed. Uh, must have been Clifton. Clifton's going with the one and one. Trainer, you mean? Let me look again. Did they switch? Yeah. They, they both got them ponytails. No good. Yep, that was Craner. Abby Ettenhofer. Yeah. Abby's got 20 points. No, 21 is on actually like glue, but can't get that close. I know it. That's when you say get a saddle. <laughs> she hadn't gotten any more uh, fouls on either, has she? She has. Well, I looked down at the book and I missed something. She just reached around and had her hand on the ball. They, the other team thought it was a foul. The other coaches. Mason squared up. <laughs> First and ten, do it again. Uh -huh. Got a tie, but out of bounds to Lakewood. It's getting comical now. Nine point game, 47 38. And then they got that big third quarter and it's, it's carried them so far. Mason back up. No put back there. The trainer will go to the line shooting two. Ashley wants to go out with a flourish here. I know. She missed four. She missed two. The front end of two one and ones, which would have made given her four more points. Those foul shots can add up in the game. Plug that one. And misses a second. <laughs> Good hustle by Brittany Thorpe, but not quite enough. 134 left in this contest, Lou. I'm glad you got back to be able to see the finish. That Barton said, my season, my season and my career are almost over. I'm going to get another one. Get an air ball. 48-38. Lifted. Good blow, good fake. Good pass and a good fake. Right on. Good ball fake, huh? Ettenhauer. Oh, good. 
she had she had her mind up made up what she's going to do there but she waited too long and stepped on the line That was a four count. I know it. Clifton <laughs> wants two more. Should have faked her again. It's not gonna happen. Should have faked her again. Uh huh. <laughs> Over and back. Got Beathard and uh, Jordan coming in. No, nope, Beathard's already just Jordan. And <laughs> Brady. I saw Beathard there at the bench. She's taking the ball out of bounds. Got to take Craner out. Give her a round of applause for her Probably career. Probably get her out by herself. Lamberson gets a little runner in the lane. Couldn't finish. Here she comes. Give him a standing O. Give her a standing O. They're not even paying attention. Oh, come on, crowd. They're not realizing. Yeah, they're finally getting into it. This is the end to the... Ron Wilson in for Brethren. He didn't say anybody in for Kramer. Did he? Yeah. I didn't How, hear him. Howard. Howard went I didn't in. hear him say it. I saw her go in. Good pass. Pretty. That's the best play in basketball. That's pretty, wasn't it? She does it well. There's the best player right there. You give her a three? Uh-huh. 52-41. She's going to do it again to her. She did, exactly. Uh, couldn't finish, but she did get it. And Wilson's going to get a name in the paper, almost. Don't count it. London comes up victorious, 52-41. Lakewood takes it on the chin once again. And we got a little run down here for London. And we got a score of 5241. I've got um, Brady with four points. I got Mason with two. I got uh, Jordan with two. I got Lamerson with eight. I got Clifton with 14. And leading all scorers was Ashley Craner, the senior, with 21 points. So the seniors carried the load tonight with 21 and 14 points. And this gives them a record now of 9 and 11, which is really good. For more, a lot more than what I think people expect out of this bunch of girls this year. This is the last, last uh, regular season game. They will be playing um, in the tournament next Saturday up in Marysville. 615. 615. So I'd like to see people try to get up and support these kids. In the meantime, Lou, you come back next year? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that's a long way off. Okay. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I forgot to ask you too, because it's been a long year. We've done every home game this year so far. So anyway, it's Gary McNeil. And thank you very much, Gary, for letting me help you. Thank you, Carl. And right. Carl get, King. Get fun. Right on. Arrivederci. This is my sixth year, isn't it? Sixth year. Sixth or seventh. I don't know. Lose count. Love you, man. <laughs> See ya, but I wouldn't want to be ya. Bye-bye. Arrivederci. Adios. So long. Take me home, This is a reserve contest. And uh, girls, girls, yeah. We'll see that once we start doing. Yeah, they'll know once we start doing. Thank you very much. <laughs> we got to keep on each other's case because we got so much going on. We really had a mess last night.
But we got through it. So, um, this is Lakewood. <coughs> there I go already. Lakewood and London. And I believe uh, London is like 12 and 7. The score right now is 14 and 21 in favor of Lakewood. You'll hear the Lakewood coach in the background. He's a hands-on guy. He does something that I've always thought the coaches in the more quieter gyms should do, and that's play the game for them. Believe me, they hear you and they respond to what you tell them. So in the game for London right now, we have um, Jillian McLean, um, Lori Bennett, Annie Baldwin, Yvonne Wilson, and um, Katie Daniels. In and out. Yvonne Wilson, Yvonne Wilson knocked that one in. Twenty one sixteen. Yvonne's number's uh, thirty four. She's leading all scores that I can see on the board there with nine points. She's either shared the scoring honors or led the team the last two or three games we've done. That was Yvonne Wilson for four. Whoa. That's four fouls on Yvonne. They didn't get her out of the game in time. So, Jessica Cormacon. 23 to 16. Most of the next one fly and rebound by uh, McLean. Here comes the Lancers. Good hustle by McLean to get in there and break that up. Slow down the fast break. Whoa. Three point. Hudson. That gives him a 10 point lead right now. 26 to 16. Timeout London. Timeout London. Twelve and seven record. There's a look at the scoreboard. First chance we get, uh, we get a shot of this new scores table we got down there. We're behind it, and um, we meant to bring an extra camera with us so we could take it down there and get a shot. Cause once this one here is hooked up, there's so much paraphernalia on it that it's a job and a half just to rehook it back up. But we will before the season's over. Get you a shot of the board at Hatfield, Hyundai, and um, the Boosters Club. I went together and got the new scores table. And it really makes the gym look. Gym is starting to look like big time. But we got a long ways to go. And we'll get there. Yeah, we would throw it. Lori Bennett, a three-point shot there, and she knocks it in. And, and got a chance to make four. She was fouled on the shot. That's something that Lou Mott, Coach Mott's been talking about. Concentration, and she concentrated all the way through the shot, right through the basket, and was fouled on the shot, so she scored. And on the line, going for another score. Twenty-six nineteen. Out of traveling. 
I said, call, I said the other day, we saw a girl, never got called once on it. That's the first time I'd ever seen a player that many times not get called, make that move and, and not be called for traveling. Good catch for Daniels. Back out to, uh, oh, they're going to reserve Scurry. She missed that last shot. Bennett went out of bounds and knocked it back in. So the ball is going to go over to uh, the Lancers. 26-19. Seven point difference. Another travel. She must have knew she traveled because she just started laughing when he called it. her second. So in the game right now we have Henry, Daniels, Bennett, Scurry, and McLean. This is going to be a long day, Carl. Don't have any voice now. What's well, going to be like 9 o'clock tonight? Putting that pressure D on. He, he took his time making the call, but he didn't make the call. Yeah, he blew it. It was late whistle, but he, he blew it. I'm not sure they knew what the call there. It looked like a kick ball. Boys reserves must have been out running somewhere. Lane down the lane. Can't get to go. Got a jump ball with Henry, I believe that is. Amanda Henry. Position arrow goes to the big blue. The big blue, yeah, the Lancers. Help me out, Carl. There must be a short here. It's the big show. <laughs> she traveled. You gotta put the ball on the floor if you're gonna take that many steps. I gotta take that thing off. Yeah. Foul is on Jimmy McLean, her second team foul number three. All right, should he do, Rochelle? Now McLean has three fouls. I didn't like the way I sounded, so I took my headphones off. Uh, Ain't gonna make any difference, is it? Nineteen twenty seven now. Yeah. 
Runs the lead up to nine points. 28-19. there. Oh! Who's that off of, girl? Good call. Twenty-eight, nineteen. London girls gonna pick it up. It's the third quarter. Got one twenty-three left in this third quarter. They're down by nine. Good hustle there. Get, get a takeaway. Uh oh, Daniels can't finish. Out of bounds to London. Curry gets her own rebound, goes back up. She'll go to the line shooting too. That was on the That's her first point of the game tonight. She came up from the freshman team and has contributed quite a bit. Been a pleasant surprise for them. Misses a second. Lancers on the rolls. Eight point game now, 28 to 20. Two tries, won't go, and they get the ball back. And Julie McLean just took that ball. Trains a rough neck now. Bennett, no good. And uh, Katie Daniels will go to the line, shooting two. Is she hurt? Her, uh, looks like she got stung her elbow. They're hollering. They're waiting for the foul shot. So they can buzz the player in. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't life threatening. She's got a stinger on her elbow. Probably hit a crazy bone. Well, she was holding her elbow. Does she know what part hurts? Scurry right back up. No good. We got another jump ball. 32. <laughs> she had number 40, Jackie Brady, I believe it is, right in front of her, yeah, right in front of her and didn't throw her the ball. Jackie Brady, number 40, I think. That is who number 40 is, isn't it? Okay, well, it's got uh, Jackie Brady on here, so I thought I'd get her to say it might be O'Neal. Out of bounds. Good catch by O'Neal. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Got a takeaway. Minutes after again, he knocks it out of bounds off of the player. And we get the ball back. I didn't see an inbounds play. Everybody looked like they're just standing. And time runs out with a score of 28. Lancers 21 London. You show the scoreboard, bro. At number 32, I don't know if it's not showing her on this page. Could be Erica Hudson. Just a reminder of the That's 16 points. We will be honoring our seniors. So if you can stay with them for a little bit, we want to give our seniors your recognition. So if everybody can just remain in the nation, we appreciate it. up her second foul. We're in the fourth quarter now. 28-21. And we got his takeaway with Scurry. Bend it over to Henry. I see Wilson's back in the game. She's in with four fouls. was stirred at. She just knew I had her. They called her travel. He probably could have called it either way too. They wanted to travel but she never moved that foot. She held it there. Well, that's it. I called another travel. I thought he caught Wilson but pretty close to two fouls there. Lori didn't move hers. She was up on her toe. Uh oh, did you hear that? The girl shoved Wilson. She said, I'm going to get you. Didn't you hear? Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, there's a few of them here. Twenty-eight, twenty-one. Oh, <laughs> she wanted one, didn't she? Man said no. Well, it's calling them both ways because Wilson's had two opportunities to be put out since she's come back in the game, and they called travel on both of them. Can't buy one, you see. Twenty-one. London didn't get back down in time to stop that fast break. I 
Bryce is trying to get her some space there to get that toss in and that call for a push. And she's listed on the varsity. She got 20. She got all the points. She got 20 out of the 32. Spots up. Give her three. Twenty-four thirty-one. That got the crowd into it. Can't trade baskets though. Not enough time for that. Gotta get some stops. Defensive takeaways. Thirty-four twenty-four. Got three minutes to go in this contest. Henry saved that one. Yeah, rolled around the top of her head. <coughs> Bennett for three. Henry back up. No good. Got a ball, jump ball in there. Possession never goes to London. Scurry, quick shot, no good. Good hustle. That was on Amanda Henry, her third, the team found number seven. On the line, shooting two, Eric Hudson. Hudson again. She got all the points. She's almost beating London by herself. What's up? Yeah. Two seventeen to go in the contest. Hudson's got twenty one points. London's got twenty four. 22 36 24 Daniel's push one up it won't go Back up a scurry. And Katie Daniels finally gets uh, put back for London. Taking charge there. Henry got kind of boxed up in there and she tried to throw it off of the defender's 
leg, but uh, she traveled in the process. We still have a 10 point game here. 36 26. Wilson gets a steal. Ah, uh, went up with the left hand. Calls up Brittany Clark for third. Team down number five. Yeah. She used her left hand, though. That's what they're being taught. And left hand is good. But I would say in a situation like that, you go up with the hand that you're sure. That you're sure of. You drop it in. Uh-huh. She picked her clean. Good steal. 38-26. She probably couldn't believe she made such a clean pick. And not get called for a foul. So we got a timeout with 48 seconds. And uh, I think London's going to go to point what? Point four. <laughs> I missed that. London's going to go to 12 and 8, I believe. This is their last regular season game for the girls. Boys have three more. Katie Daniels, oh, in and out. That was a Michelle Moore, her first team foul number six. On the line, shooting two, Katie Daniels. I know it won't go in. They're having a hard time putting it to the hoop. Oh, Wilson! Scurry to Wilson. Down to 21 seconds. Oh, she traveled. Got away with it. I didn't even see the travel. I heard the feet. That was an actually scurry. Uh, 38 to 30. Kind of put it in another gear in the last 10 seconds, then 20 seconds. What's he doing? I heard him. <laughs> yeah, the game's over. And why even, why even talk about that? Eight points and seven points. Yeah, I think he wanted that travel. Seven point six and eight points. You got that right. Kaylee. 
It's a wonder Zach ain't coaching him. Time to end. That happened last night. Wilson Blue with one tenth of a second on the clock. I think it was in the girls' game. Thirty-eight thirty. Reserves go down. Finish with a twelve and twelve and eight record.